into summer driving season, you're probably paying close attention to those gas prices. According to AAA, the national average is $3.65, and here in Montana, it's $3.54. A group of top oil-producing countries are considering supply cuts that could bump up the price at the pump. National correspondent Atra Elnishar has a closer look. It's no secret Americans have been struggling with high inflation for the past two years or so. And drivers hope as they hit the road this summer, there won't be any surprises when they pull up to the gas station. I got a, like a Mustang and I go to fill it up, it's like 75, 80 bucks. It used to cost me $20 to fill, like, get my truck to half a tank. Now it's like almost 80 now. It's typical to see a slight rise in prices this time of year as refineries undergo seasonal maintenance and stations switch to a required summer blend gasoline. <laughs> But there's always the potential for unexpected shocks to global oil supply that can have ripple effects at your local station. What a diversity of challenges. When Saudi Arabia and other OPEC plus countries meet on June 1st, they're expected to extend the production cuts they implemented earlier this year. Those cuts haven't yet delivered the price shocks experts were dreading, thanks in part to increased production in the Western Hemisphere. Last year, U.S. oil production hit an all-time high, according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration. Drivers are watching prices, and so are the presidential campaigns, as poll after poll shows voters are sour on the overall economy. Republicans blaming President Biden for high prices at the pump and beyond, consistently attacking his clean energy policies. We're going to drill, baby drill. We're going to bring down your energy costs. While Democrats court voters with ambitious plans for electric vehicle production and tout how much gas prices have come down from their peak of $5 per gallon in July 2022. I led the country through the COVID crisis. Today, we have the strongest economy in the world. Back before the 2022 midterms, when Americans were dealing with those especially high gas prices, Republicans were expected to get a so-called red wave that never came to fruition. Abortion rights had a major role in that. Flash forward to today, that's still a top issue. But if you look at the polls, the economy ranks as voters' number one concern. In Washington, I'm Atrel Nishar.